Bagel's the most bang for your buck. If you yeah. go to a breakfast place and they offer a bagel as the side, that's actually the most bread. I'm choosing bagel. If, if those are my really? three options, I'm going to choose bagel. Think about it. Bagel is king when it comes to the breakfast side bread because you're just exactly right. It's so the tough most to chew. It's like chewing a belt. <laughs> bang for your buck, a belt. Have you? I mean, you've had Why a bagel that- where you got to <laughs> yank it off. You got to you got to tear you it. You bite it. You tear it off. You pull a muscle doing it. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's just like not. Yeah, but think about a bagel and all the options you can get. Plain. You could get cinnamon raisin. You can get oh, an I everything did. bagel. You can get an onion bagel. You can get a cheddar bagel. I'm going bagel. So you're going bagel for the fact of the variety. Because you're right. There's no other type of English muffin. They've got maybe white or wheat. I mean, you got wheat, wheat or sourdough maybe. Maybe. But I've never, I don't think I've ever had a sourdough English muffin. Yeah. So for me, it's got to be bagel because you get the most bang for your buck. Just like you mentioned. It's, it's the biggest option. Well... Unless they only give you a half. I think they only give you a half a bagel. Ah. I bet you at most diners that serve a bagel, they're probably only giving you a half. I wouldn't give a full bagel with a breakfast. That's too much. Well, either way, I think I'll still go bagel. I I really thought you were going to go English muffin. Mm. So we're both ruling out toast, which is so sad because that's the OG. Yeah. I do love toast, but you you bring up a good point about the inconsistencies. And the butter kills me every time because they put butter on it. And I like butter on my toast. We and got, it's got to spread across yeah, the piece yeah, yeah, yeah. evenly. And I, I, the thing I love about an English muffin is when they put butter on it, it gets in the holes. And you get that melted butter inside the little pores of the, the English muffin. Yeah. <laughs> I love a good buttery orifice, man. I really do. <laughs>